Hi everyone, so I was going to do a video with Omid Scobies and, or oh, no, correction, Mr Plastic, with Alison and Gray, Craig on this morning, um, but that was going on for too long and I hadn't had time to do all of that, to do, uh, well, tonight, um, so I had to abort that mission. But now Rebecca English has come up with a bit of breaking news, so I'll do a quick video about that instead. And I grabbed something earlier and just done a little video. It I'll put that on the end of this part of the video. That was also very interesting. So as you know by now, Mr. Plastic with his mammoth eyebrows has um, put his um, what's it called Endgame book out there right in front of you, holy flop, right in front of you, and you forgot what the book's called. Never mind. My faulty brain is really in full swing at the moment. So. He came across very defensive, don't you think? Very, a bit gaslighty as well. But he he has forgotten that the public have seen his tweets in the past and present, hasn't he? Very clearly. he's He has slagged off the royal family before. I remember seeing it, but now he's blocked me, so I can't go and have a look. Maybe I need to get someone else to do it. I don't know. I'll have to think about that. But yes, he's in denial he's obviously attention seeking and it's everybody else's fault so in other words he's been caught red-handed and he's blaming everybody else it's the dutch dutch's fault it's um tim buck's two faults it's everybody else's fault apart from his and for him to deny that he knows megan and harry harry personally is quite bizarre because how would he get some of the information he puts up i mean come on you know that's just blatant lying, Mr. Plastic. So, but here we have it. Dutch translator of Omid Scabies Endgame says the names of the two royal racists were in the manuscript. <clears throat> Excuse me. She was sent after author insisted he never submitted a book with them in it. <laughs> so she's grasped him, grasped him up. That is absolutely marvellous. This is brilliant breaking news, Rebecca English. Thank you very much. And Daily Mail. So let me know your thoughts in the comments about this section, guys. It's rather, I think what's happened is they've done this on purpose to confuse. I think Meghan and Harry are quite annoyed at the moment because they're desperate to get back in with the royal family. All this um, rumours going around that they want an invite at Christmas. So I guess if they don't get an invite, they're going to start doing some pretty nasty things towards Christmas. And I think this is one of them. But let me know your thoughts. We'll go over to the next part now. Listen to what this guy uh, says here. Talk TV. It was about, oh, about just over an hour ago. All looking for one person and then suddenly, suddenly it's two Scobie people. comes along. Exactly. And it's two people. Yeah. So Scobie no. thinks he knows better than Meghan and Harry. Yeah. Meghan and Harry themselves said it was one person made this comment. And then Scobie says, no, 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 there was two people. And Meghan, I, I, I doubt highly that what Scobie's saying about it being two people is correct. Um, I, don't believe, I, don't, I don't believe that he's right on that. I think he's fabricated that to try and move the story along a bit because his book is only publishing things that we already knew about. But I can confirm to you from my reliable source, it was one person and it was not Charles and it was not Kate Middleton. And you see me on the talk, 6 p.m., Monday to Friday. I'm not a fan of Kate Middleton either. I'm normally quite disparaging about her. I may have called her Lazy Kate. <gasps> yeah. I'm not here to defend Kate Middleton. Oh, how dare you talk about our Catherine in that manner. Oh, you racist. Goodness me. Oh, I don't like him. But anyway, at least he was fair. At least he called Mr. Plastic out there. So I guess, guys, let me know your thoughts in the comments about all of this because... Now I've heard this, it seems like Mr. Plastic and Meghan and Harry have just piled all of this on, hoping that it will get out very, very quickly to keep the attention on them as per usual. Anyway, I need to go. I'll catch you soon.